morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I'd like to read you a verse this morning from John chapter 29 and verse 19. It says this, Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst and saith unto them, Peace be unto you. Simple little title I've given this morning is this, Peace in the Midst of Trouble. What another great passage of scripture. And each morning I'm, I'm thrilled and encouraged by the word of God. I thank God for his living word. You see, we see the disciples have shut themselves away because of fear. But Jesus came into the place of fear. And he brings his peace and he sets them free. What he did for those disciples, he can do for you this very day. What a thought for each one today in a world that is in turmoil, in homes that are in trouble, in minds that cannot find rest, Jesus can come and bring peace. And his word tells us that to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And this peace is beyond our understanding. However clever we think we are, however intellectual we think we are, our minds cannot take in the truth of the living word of God. It's got to be revealed to us by the Holy Spirit. You see, we live in a world when the tensions of modern life and fear of all that is taking place round about us are causing people to be filled with fear, causing people to experience mental breakdowns. But for the true child of God, there are provisions even here. But the Apostle Paul says, be careful for nothing, be anxious, for nothing, but in all things by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And then it says this, and the peace of God that passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and mind in Christ Jesus. It's not because the child of God doesn't have any cares or worries, but because our trust is in Christ. Listen again to the words of Christ. Peace. Peace, he says, I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. What a wonderful promise, friends. This is not fake news, but this is eternal truth. For all who know Christ as their Saviour, the hymnist puts it like this. He gives me joy in place of sorrow. He gives me love that casts out fear. He gives me sunshine for my shadow and beauty for ashes here. Where the present of Jesus is in our life, there is no more room for fear. No more room for doubt. It may be that you feel that you are closed in and all alone. Even though there may be people all around you, but just like the disciples, it says, the doors were shut. But Jesus came. You see, there are no barriers to Christ. He comes to where you are this very morning. He came and he stood in the midst. You see, he must be the center. And when he is, we will know his peace. And so today, trust him, for he never fails, and experience his peace instead of panic and fear. Rest in the Lord today. God bless you. I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow morning, the same time, on the same place. God bless you.